Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam. I hope everybody's well. Um, after the videos last night, we had a couple of females um, email and have questions and commented on my videos. And there was a couple of questions from different females which I want to answer you know, through video because it'll be more easier to understand. It's not the same way as if you type in it on the email, or at least this makes it easier for me. Um, basically, if you are a female priest in the Ocha, in Palo, Piritimo, Sanse, um, yeah, you have a great right and very important role to play. Um, I mean, us guys, we can go sleep with another guy and give birth. No, the female is very important um, within our traditions. You are allowed to do certain things and, and work and... You know, the only thing is that we do certain work and yeah, have another function, but it's not plucking chickens like this nice lady that, that wrote to me and said that in her house, in her ile, um, they just told her that she, all, she, all her function was is to, well, to pluck chickens. And, you know, when they're doing the ceremonies and stuff like that and cook. And yes, that is a role, but that's a role that could be shared with the guys that don't have nothing, that's not um, doing any of the main work or anything like that. So if you're a female and you're getting into this tradition, um, don't let them block you off. Don't let them lie to you and tell you um, you're only good to stay in the kitchen. That, that is not true. You do have your spot and your, and your role and function into certain of these uh, traditions we're in. Uh, like I said before, Malo um, Mayombe, the males don't want the datas and stuff. They don't want to admit that the female plays um, an important role. And some nowadays they even saying now they even put rules that I seen in many places and like seventy let's say ninety percent of the places now that do palo, um, they say that the woman cannot um, why get scratch um, why go into palo because you won't be able to do nothing and yes you will do be able to do a nice amount of things you know again you'll have your function those guys will have ours but don't let nobody ever fool you like that. And getting on that note, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the ocha, because this is something that's been going on for a while. Uh, when it comes, when you make ocha with guys and females, females and males, or something over, I think it's the ice machine. Uh, males and females, that when you make ocha, the godfather wants to stay with the shells, the the lagoons of your orisha, the mouthpieces of your orishas, until you do a bometa. Um, to me, I mean, in my house, I wouldn't do that. I would put your shells right in your hand, and when it's time to do a bometa, you come back and get your bometa done, which is a special uh, ceremony that's done three months after you receive Osha in the Lukumi tradition. Um, it's, it makes it makes no sense, and it's sad that you have priests that the godparents that want to keep their godchildren under their foot, and they want to make sure that you come back to them and that you don't learn more than them. But there's no honor bigger that I could have as a godfather than seeing my own godson getting ahead and doing what he gotta do or what she gotta do and shining and, and getting ahead. Cause I could say, hey, that's my child. You know, what? every parent wants their child, children to get ahead. So do not let any godparent tell you that because you're a female, you can't do nothing. Um, and try and if you're making no try hold your shells for to make sure you do a bometa because that's another ceremony after the three months that they win some money off of or whatnot because i've seen ridiculous prices for a bometa now um that's the awakening of your ocha and a, and a bowl of cleansing that's getting done on you when you already came out the throne and, and crowned as a king or queen in the orisha tradition um it makes it makes it's, it's crazy. It, it's it's not um, so. If you're an Orisha priest getting crowned or you're about to get crowned, it's very important. You talk to your godparent, be like, "Well, are you gonna keep my libreta and my de logons, my notebook and my shells?" Um, if he says or she says yes, you know that's not. It, 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 it's a red flag because you already paid for that ceremony, so you should go home with all your stuff. And the time when it comes to get your bometa. Um, then you come back to them if you i mean the godparent has nothing to worry about of, of jerking or or trying to 
um, play their, their godchildren, why are they being so paranoid to hold them in like that? That's not, to me, that's one part that I, I, I frown upon and I don't believe in. You know, I, I think after I crown you, uh, I give you your shells, your libreta, and if you decide to come back after three months to activate your orishas, why, why hold it? It makes no sense. Also, um, in the next, I'm going to say something else in the next clip. I'm not going to talk too long because then I, don't, I can't get the video onto YouTube. I, I'm computer illiterate. I don't. It's a mess. Uh, salam alaikum, alaikum salam.